Well, you might figure driving down the highway and looking at a field with a few weeds like water hemp that a weed is a weed is a weed is a weed is a weed. Yet, in the case of pigweeds like water hemp and palmer amaranth, they have male plants and female plants. In this segment of Weeds Playbook, Megan Anderson, Iowa State University Extension Field Agronomist, tells how to tell the difference between male and female water hemp plants and why you should care. There are several uh, different weeds that we deal with in our environment that are what we call dioecious, or they have separate male and female plants. So you can think of them kind of like people, and water hemp is one of those. So in my hands right here, I actually have a female water hemp, and this plant is a male water hemp. And uh, so the interesting thing is that, of course, the male provides the pollen to the female. And I, if we can identify those late in the season, you know, most of the year, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between males and females. Uh, but at this point in the season, when we're nearing harvest, if we can identify just the females from the males, uh, we actually have the capability of only removing the females because they're producing seed and the males have already done their job. So uh, we could leave those in the field and save us some work. The males and the females, they can look pretty similar to the untrained eye, but uh, one of the things about the female water hemp is that I think of them as being really uh, pretty petite. They've got smaller flowers. They're usually very, very highly branched. Whereas the male, you can see that that's uh, got fewer branches and the individual uh, stems are longer. And then those male flowers are quite a bit bigger. And so the key at this point in the season is that these are mature enough that I can rub them in my hands and look for that seed on the female. If I look at the male and rub that, all I'm gonna get are some of those uh, flower parts. So there's definitely a lot of work looking into trying to manage water hemp seed production, as well as managing water hemp seed, you know, after it's produced in the field and preventing it from being a problem in future years. So I'd say that we'll need to stay tuned on that technology. But one of the keys to identifying the female this time of year is just to rub that flower in your hand and look for little black seeds. So they're pretty easy to tell at this point. As you can see, there are differences between male and female water hemp plants. For more information on this topic and others, check out Weed's Playbook in Successful Farming Magazine.